Are independent subwoofer outputs necessary in an AV receiver? Ah, they're not necessary. I mean, it allows it's, you to adjust trim levels, you know, but it's still the same mono LFE signal. Right. Correct. Right. Yeah. Right. So, um, but it allows um, you to, like I said, you can John adjust. John called me the other day and asked, hey, so. Yeah, Did like, you call me and ask me about this? Yeah, I called you and asked because like people are like, because this is the that new uh, Pioneer LX505 versus the Denon X3700H. The Denon mm -hmm. is $100 more. Mm -hmm. And there's two things that the Denon does that the Pioneer doesn't do. One is it has independent subwoofer outputs, mm -hmm. which like what you said, you can adjust the trim levels sure. in, independently. Right. But Joe was like, you can do that on the subwoofer. On the subwoofer. Correct. So mm -hmm. it's yeah. not really a huge deal. Yeah. And then yeah. I just looked it up. How much is a mini DSP? Hundred bucks. Yeah. So yeah. now, so now you're now you're paying the same amount and yeah. getting something better because it's two fifty for the HD. Right. Two fifty for yeah. the HD. But you still need to get like a um um uh U mic one. So you're yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, how come you have yours it's first? Pressure. They always send you stuff first, man. Look at that. See that? See that, Aaron? You're not alone, bro. <laughs> they hate Joe too. That? No, I'm, I'm getting it. Just, <laughs> Michael always. Get, I'm like that guy doesn't DSP anything over there. Yeah, you send it to me. I'm the DSP master. Ah, oh, <laughs> how to figure it out? You're gonna call me. <laughs> um, let's, let's take a look uh, at it together. I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. This is the new. We're doing, a, um, we're doing an unboxing. Flex. Yeah. Oh, he's okay. flexing the new unboxing. He's flexing the flex. The flex and the flex. Yeah, Mini DSP yeah. flex. Uh, all right, that's interesting. Look at, that. look at the reflection. Shiny. This is what Mike's all looking those, at. <laughs> all those icons you have on your window. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, they're look. Oh that, yeah, show us the uh, show us the booty. <laughs> show us the booty. Let's get uh, let's the solo mic on. Booty shot. Oh. There it is. There it is. Boom. Nice. Get I think. Now, okay, so I got a question. I thought this thing had XLR. No, oh, no. I think Does they it, may have one with it. No, that's, that's the that's that's the flex this. hard model. That's the flex yeah. hard. That, no, seriously, I thought that's what I was getting. Because this no. ain't gonna help me much. <laughs> uh oh, but is that the one where you could? Because a lot of them you can wire up for either way. But it doesn't look like you have the Euro blocks for no, that. It's, it's supposed to be right here. These are supposed to be XLR. the XLR cables. Really? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty chumpy. Unless oh, there's like said, adapters. Just said, run it through my See? head. Run it through my head. Run it through my head. Hey. That's a great song. I have a. I don't I have know why like I got a, it in my head. Oh, I got a house house version of that. It's pretty really? awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're not gonna like me because I'm gonna ask them to send me the other one. So, um, answer your question. So, I have an answer to this. Independent subwoofer outputs necessary in an AV mm -hmm. receiver. Yeah, on the Denons, all <laughs> the it's really doing, all it's really doing is, uh, it's a mono signal, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, it allows you to adjust the trim on them. That's it. It's not doing separate EQ for each of them. It just mm -hmm. it puts them together. Well, it balances them out first, so one is not working harder than the other. You know, uh, and then it takes the sum signal and then it cues them as a whole. There's no independent EQ. There's no phase timing anything. Well, let me hold on. Is that true? Uh, I think no. I don't think any. I don't think the delays are are different. Just volume. So, like you're saying. Exactly. A mini DSP 2x4 HD, or even a uh, just a 2x4, um, you could do a lot more because you can EQ each sub independently if you wanted to do something like um, a multi-sub optimizer where you're EQing the subs differently, you know, changing the timing for each sub differently. So, yeah. so, so what you're saying is if you had two AVRs that were relatively the same price, yeah. it's not a deciding factor for you. No, I just get a, like, a if y, you really, y splitter if you, or something. Yeah. <laughs> a Y splitter, really? yeah. Y splitter. I mean, I, mean, I uh, you know, my my, volume. my two subwoofers are, you know, stacked on top of each other. So I just daisy chain one because I don't want to spend on another cable. And the like, other thing yeah. is if you're using uh, an AVR that uses uh, Voice of God, right? A mm -hmm. lot of times, depending on the model, it'll use sub two right. as the Voice of God channel. And in my case... I have two subwoofer outs, but I only use one out. That one out goes into the mini DSP 2x4 HD, and then now now I have option for four different four sub, outputs, right. separate uh, sub outputs. Is that the but, one that you have, Michael? Right. So I think the, the deal is, so you've got RCA, maybe I was right. mistaken. So you have RCA, okay. 
and they did send me the balanced yeah. one, which is here. That's, those that's are quarter inch. That's quarter, quarter inch, inch TRS. Yeah. 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 So I guess you, you got to get, get you this some right here. Tables. Well, they've got them here. Let's so see what maybe, that is. It just says they're cheap, dude. Oh, okay. picture. Yeah, you can get them from Amazon nah. for cheap. It mm-hmm. says inputs to okay. yeah, like twenty bucks. It's like so a, it's it's a plug and an XLR on the other end. It, they're cheap. Yeah, yeah. It's already mono, mono price. It's good to have around. Yeah. So, what yeah. was going to be your use case for the XLR, Michael? Because my subwoofers have XLR. Yeah. So right now, I'm having to use RCA. Mm, okay. Gotcha. This is a two-channel setup, right? This is for it's a basically it's a two by four HD. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Inputs. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's like twice the price. Yeah. Yeah. You guys tell me what this. So I saw when they came out with this. I got the email, but I was mm-hmm. like, I don't care right now, and I yeah. still don't necessarily like. Why? Why would you pay? It. What's the point? I get mm-hmm. it. I get it. So this is to me, you're a two channel guy, and you want to use this as your your streamer kind of. Okay. Bluetooth to it has optical in, has analog in, has sub out. So it's kind of like your your hub. You go okay. from that to your uh your power amp right and mm-hmm. i would say if that's the new thing to do remember i, th- I was saying if it was between that and getting some tube amps mm-hmm. aside from the looks because tubes right. they look pretty cool sure. aside from the looks i think that setup uh with the ability to you know dsp each speaker and the and the sub if you add a sub and to blend them it's going to give you way better sound mm-hmm. oh yeah so I see it as, from that standpoint, but I, I I think the problem they may have is the price might not be high enough for some of the folks that are into two channel stuff because they're yeah. like five fifty. Right, this little box, cheap. yeah. Give me something that looks like that Hi Fi Rose. That's right, man. Yeah, yeah. If it was cool. like a one den size or or a one U, you know, chassis size, like the like the DDRC eighty eight, you know, mm. you can get I think you can get yeah. adapter plates for that or something. Mm-hmm. You know? But that that might be an easy recommendation. Let's say. If somebody says, hey, I want to get that mini DSP flex and then, you know, whatever those like small class D amps that they have that aren't too expensive and some nice mm-hmm. speakers and a decent sub, man, you can get some pretty awesome sounds, I think. Does that have a volume knob on it? It, it does, doesn't I don't, it? I don't know if it's a volume. Yeah. Or... It's, an, it's a yeah, knob. It does. It does. Yeah. I mean, I don't yeah, know what it's for. It does. <laughs> it's a wonder. knob. So that's the your, uh, that's <laughs> your Let's streamer. Let's see the knob. Oh, the knob feel. Oh, that's, that's your head. Does it have a right click there. to it or is it just it smooth? Click, I like click, the ones with the click, click on them. Click, I don't like the click, smooth ones. Click, click, click. I like click. the click encoders. Those you nice. like the sound of the click too? Click, 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 click. See? I like I like those. Uh, that was real. I like them on the, <laughs> the level knob on the back of the rails are like that, which is awesome because then mm. I can actually match both, oh, yeah. both yeah. subs volume. I actually feel where it's. Yeah. yeah. It's like, here's midnight. Yeah. I got to go back 12. Six <laughs> notches, six <laughs> notches. <laughs> yeah. 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 As opposed to being like just a little bit off, you know, yeah. trying yeah, to get Because, you know, the back of my subs are, you know, against like a, you know, sliding glass door. So I don't have oh, to yeah. pull the subs out to look at the. Uh,